Hey, hello, hello, hello. It is attorney Takora Davis. I am the founder of the Creators Law Firm and the Business Bakery. The Business Bakery is the go-to digital resource for business and beauty entrepreneurs who are looking to not only protect their business, but profit from it. Today in our launch series, I want to talk about choosing the right logo for your business. Um, as you all know, Business Bakery is going to launch within the next 30 to 40 days. We're still handling, like, we're still, like, getting that launch date down. It's a little fuzzy, but we are definitely working with it. And I'm choosing the last bit of brand collateral. So I've worked with an amazing designer, and while I worked with her, um, she was basically, you know, she provided me with so much stuff. I love Amber. Amber is the bomb, okay? Um... So what Amber uh, was able to do was create a couple of different looks for uh, the business bakery. And um, as a result, and I'm, I'm sharing my video, as a result, um, you know, I'm really stuck between two logos. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure which one is best, which one I want, um, because they're both done so well and executed so well. And so I thought, well, I will just share this with, People and Revolutionary Creative and get your feedback on it. But before I share the logo options with you all, I wanted to give a few tips about how to choose the best logo design for your brand. Um, the logo is so important because it's just a visual like representation of your brand. People may not be able to see your website. They may not be able to see your product, but they could encounter your logo on product packaging or perhaps on, you know, maybe a vending event or uh, maybe you're sponsoring an event, um, things like that. You know, people can see your logo in magazines. So the logo is the visual representation of your brand and it supports your name, your brand, and your business's purpose. And so knowing all of that, you know, uh, it's very important if you're going to have a logo that it is able to do just that. If you're not able to invest in branding, I believe that a simple text-based logo, like with a serif font, not like a, like almost like an REL font, like not the serif that has like the rigid edges, like a Times New Roman, but something that's very round and soft, it can look really well. Um, or sometimes like a die dot, that's a font that I really like, that could work too. So um, there's a couple different ways to do it, but you know, you want your logo to be memorable. You want it to work. If it's uh, appearing in black and white or just black, uh, because you may not be able to, if you have a colored logo, it may not translate well um, in certain things. Thank you, Brent. Say I'm talking good. <laughs> um, and it needs to transfer to print well. It needs to transfer over to social media well. It has to do all of those things. People discount good designers all the time. And, um, you know, I've worked with some of the best designers in my personal opinion. And... They are well worth their weight in gold, especially if you work with someone like Amber, um, who really gets it from a perspective of, okay, not only is this design going to work well and translate into getting you more sales, but how is this going to look on your website, on your products, and really in line with the overall purpose and vision of your brand. So another thing that I want to tell you is KISS. Keep it simple, sis. <laughs> I don't want to call y'all stupid because it's just silly, but KISS. Keep it simple, sis. Um, or keep it simple, fun. I guess I can include my fellas, right? Um, that's why I believe that less is more when it comes to logos. So another good tip about logos is it needs to maintain its proportions, whether or not you have it like on a small business card or it's on your website or somewhere else is blown up like on a banner. Um, if it cannot translate well in different sizes, then you may not have had the best logo done. And finally, it needs to communicate your brand vibe. Like, it needs, when people encounter it, they can immediately see, like, oh, maybe this is, like, the vibe of your brand. And this is, I could foresee, like, you know, is this brand, like, a fun or cheery or happy brand? Is this brand something that's kind of more dark, morose? Is it something that's going to enlighten my, pot, my, my fire, my passion? Um, your logo can have the power to communicate that and be easily recognizable. Um, so if you have too much stuff going on with your logo, like glitter and gold and, you know, some people can do a gold logo well, very rarely. Um, but for the most part, I've, I just think the hot mess when people do it. 
So I wanted to share with you all, as I'm sharing this journey, you know, my logo options with you all, just to see your thoughts, what you love the best, um, because I really want you all to be a part of the launch process, and I really value your opinion, because you all will be looking at this logo um, when you are supporting my business, and as a result of that, I want to make sure that I have something that you like, <laughs> and um, that you did, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. All right. Hopefully you all, I know you can see it. So here, let me just, don't look at my tabs, don't judge me. <laughs> so this is the first logo. Um, this is the very first logo. I probably should have got the PNG or the vector file, but I did not. But this is the Business Bakery logo, contracts, courses, biz resources. Um, so I like it. It's really fun. It's cute. Um, but I, I'm, I don't know. I like a part of me is like, this is so good. I'm not exactly sure if this is it. Right. So that's option number one. Um, yeah. So I'll put I'll say option A. Option A. Now I want to show you all option B. OK, this is option B. Business Bakery, Contracts, Courses, Biz Resources, right? With Sephora Davis. So do you like A or do you like B? Like, I am so confused. <laughs> they both look great. I'm just not sure, right? So if you love B, which is this one, put B in the comments. If you love A, which is the previous logo, um, put, put A in the comments. Maybe I can do like a split screen with these two or something. Hot Mess Express going on here. Hopefully y'all can kind of see that. Make it work. And let me know why you, which one you love. If you love A, which is on the left, let me know why you love A. Like, what is it about this logo that you love, that you, that you like? You know, what is it about it? But if you like B, also let me know that. I want to know what do you like about the two logos? Um, what stands out to you? What does it communicate to you? Which one do you prefer? Um, and to tell you a little bit more about Business Bakery, this is going to be a digital resource that is going to be the go-to for not only entrepreneurs, but beautypreneurs in the industry. We will be providing support, um, uh, feedback, content, courses, contracts for those of you who have online businesses but really focusing on the niche of helping those in the beauty industry, whether it be you sell hair extensions, whether it be that you are a makeup artist or a hair artist, whether you are an artisan and you're focused on artisanal beauty and you're creating shampoos, conditioners, making sure you're, you're remaining compliant with the FDA, making sure your labels are top notch, making sure that the things that happen within your particular industry, you're able to come to this place, the business bakery, and get the support that you need. Of course, we're going to have contracts for others like, you know, videographers, photographers, wedding planners, and whatnot, because I believe that that's closely associated and tied with beauty as well. But we're really going to make sure that we're focusing on this niche. So what do you guys think? I'm really excited to hear what you have to say, because honestly, I, I can't make a decision. It's been really difficult for me. Um, but, you know, it's really not about me about y'all. So I'm going to take a look at what some of the things that people have been saying. Because I, I hear the comments coming in. And ask me any questions that you have too. Again, like I said, I'm just, I'm sharing you guys everything that's going down with this launch because whew, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot whenever you launch a product, whenever you launch something new. There's so many emotions that I'm going through right now. I feel like, honestly, I rarely have the time to breathe, and I'm really trying my best because I want it to be done well, um, and it's tough. Like, I'm, uh -oh. it's tough. It is tough. Nika is the one on my right B. I like the fonts on B. It looks softer than A and more like a bakery. Okay. So, hey, Megan. Oh, my gosh. This is, like, scary. Megan is, like, this amazing designer so I'm sharing with everybody my logos 
and trying to figure out which one works best for the business bakery. Again, the business bakery is going to be this premier site that serves beauty entrepreneurs and small business owners in these internet streets, making sure that I'm helping you protect your smarts. I am very passionate about making sure that people have access to affordable legal content, legal, um, you know, really legal information, things that you can immediately put into place in your business. Everybody cannot work one-on-one with an attorney, but it doesn't mean that you shouldn't have the right contracts in place or the right type of support. So I have two logos that Amber Crudup has created. She is amazing. She's done so much. Her and Jody have done so much for me. And Amber, honestly, just it's been a stellar experience working with her and she is well worth her weight in gold. So check her out. I've tagged her. So I just don't know, guys. On the left, on my left, hopefully it's your left too, is the business bakery, which has the business and the kind of salmon color and bakery and mint. If you like that, put A and let me know why you like it. However, if you love the one on the right, which is business bakery, that has the, the black script and then bakery and salmon, please let me know if you like that. Put B and tell me why and you know again like I said I'm sharing with you guys every step of the way all the decisions that I'm making in this launch and this is one of the critical ones that I have to make what is going to be the look the primary look because I can use both logos but what is going to be the primary look (laughs) so it's been tough so I'm excited to see what you guys have to say of course the video is going to remain on after the jump but Again, thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm excited to share with you all what's happening. And I hope that me sharing with you what's going on in the launch and what I'm experiencing and the decisions that I have to make is also helping you if you're preparing to launch something new yourself. Because I know that you two are making the same like decisions that I have to make in terms of the colors and the brand and the logo and also the copy. There's a lot of moving parts and, um, you know, you just got to roll with the punches. Okay. All right. I'm excited to see what you guys have to say. And so, um, ooh, smart. I like that. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see what you guys have to say. Thank you for your feedback, Megan. That means the world to me for you to say that. So I know that means a lot. So I am going to, uh, just leave this up, hear what people have to say, um, share with me your feedback and I'll continue guys keep you posted about what's going down. Okay. Thank you.